going to build a custom camera profile using the X-Rank Color Checker Passport and the X-Rank Color Checker Passport software paired with Adobe Lightroom. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go out into the field or the studio and photograph the Color Checker Passport in the, the light that you're working in. For this case, I was out in the Adirondack State Park, and so I was photographing the Color Checker Passport every time the light shifted from open shade to overcast to um, direct light. After the shoot, I bring the all the photos back into Adobe Lightroom in my studio, and I import them just the, the same way that I always import every single photo. Now to build the custom profile, I go and locate the file that has the color checker passport in it, and I head over to File, Export with Preset, and if you've installed and downloaded the color checker passport software then this option should be available to you i click color checker passport and it's going to ask me to give you give it a name i like to give a little bit of information on the camera the location and the type of light that i was photographing in so i'm going to click nikon and there's a d810 open shade and I shot this in the Adirondacks. I'm only going to give it a number two here because I've already built one of these custom profiles so I want to I want it to run. So then I click save and you can see in the top left hand corner that the process um, is taking place and so Adobe Lightroom is building the, the profile for me. After it's successful, it's going to ask me to restart Adobe Lightroom, um, but I have already built this profile, so I'm not going to restart it. But anytime you build a new profile, you need to um, you need to restart the software. Once that's done, you head over to Camera Calibration, click that drop down menu. And you can see here the profile. Adobe, Adobe Standard is the profile that is standard for every photo inside of Lightroom, but we're going to change that because we just built the new one. So you click that drop down menu and you can see all of my different types of profiles. I'm going to head down to the Nikon D810 Open Shade in the Adirondacks profile and click that see how drastically different the colors are. So I'm going to go back and forth. Here's the original with the Adobe standard profile and here is our new custom profile. I can now go and apply this custom profile to any photograph that was photographed in those lighting conditions on that day and get the full range of the camera sensor. So that's how you apply and build a custom camera profile inside Adobe Lightroom using the Color Checker Passport and the Color Checker Passport software.